Welcome back everybody. Today is going to be a video about the must-haves in your kitchen. Just a couple of cool features, accessories that you can think about when you're planning your next kitchen remodel. My name is Kirsten with The Material Bar here in Tacoma, Washington, your kitchen and bath showroom specializing in cabinetry. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel. We do nothing but talk about kitchen, bathroom remodels, all those cool things, tips and trends, and how you can design your next project. And on top of that, we also have a free community. We'll have the link for you guys below. You can sign up, again, 100% for free, but you can ask and post questions and images if you are in your design, you're working on your budget, all those things, or you might even be in your active kitchen and bath remodel and you're running into some questions, okay? So join us in that community, and without any further ado, let's jump into some really cool, fun features that you could consider in your next project. All right, so this first accessory is something that we don't use on every project, but when we did, and we did a video of it, it went completely viral. You can actually check it out on our Instagram page. It's pinned to the top and has a ton of views. Now, this appliance is called an above appliance pull out, I believe. I have different vendors call it a little bit different, but basically what it does, it allows you to take a cabinet, let's say above an oven or above a refrigerator that is 24 inches deep, so it's a really deep cabinet, and it lets you pull the door and all the interiors out towards you, okay? And that's what we're about. We want features and accessories that can bring things towards us so we can keep track of what's inside of our cabinets, we're not losing anything, and it makes working in our kitchen space just a little bit easier. And if you want to try out this accessory that pulls out above the refrigerator because our client that got this installed is absolutely in love with it, we have a link in our description below so you can find that exact accessory, okay? All right, next on the list, this is kind of a classic um, accessory that you've seen in the kitchen world quite a bit, but don't forget about it and give it some thought. It's the KitchenAid pull out for the KitchenAid mixer, okay? And it's a really, really sturdy accessory, which is really nice. And you, you pull out the, the accessory or like basically the stand for the kitchen mixer. And a really nice thing about this is the intent is that you're cleaning off your counter space. If you don't have a big pantry where you can store a lot of these countertop appliances, you know, having certain areas, like real dedicated areas to put these countertop appliances is going to help you keep your countertops clutter free and just empty so you have enough workspace. One of the big complaints that we hear a lot as designers from our clients is that they, they're looking, they're seeking for more countertop space. So incorporate some of those areas to keep your countertops nice and tidy and clean and empty. So definitely take a look at the KitchenAid pull out mixer stand. Another basic accessory, but sometimes people don't think about this one until it's too late and maybe they didn't get asked the question from their designer, but do really think about adding a trash pull out or a waste pull out, okay? And different sizes will get you different capacity in that waste pull out and how big the bins are, but I personally love it. I have a dog and I'm telling you, with it changed my life. Once I changed into a kitchen that actually had a pull out waste, it absolutely changed my life. Before I would come home and the dog would always be in the trash. I mean, at one point I even had a bear lock, I think, on my trash and he still got in. So this was a game changer. So think about it so you don't remodel your kitchen. You have this beautiful space, but then you still have a waste can standing somewhere. It's just not that appealing. Uh, in the overall look and I it's a basic accessory it's it's not costly at all and I think it it really elevates your entire look next on the list a cool feature to think about not necessarily a cabinet accessory but think about a pot filler okay and a pot filler can be used in different stations now obviously if you think about it and you pull it up maybe on some of the platforms like Pinterest you will see it a lot behind a range and that is great if you're creating a space that maybe has more of a entertainment kitchen and then it has more of a butler's kitchen, a secondary that's more of a prep kitchen, think about maybe adding it back there so you can stay within that space and you're not moving around too much and you can get your water, you might be prepping for a lot of people, okay? And then the pot filler could also be used in different areas like 
doggy stations, laundry rooms, things like that. So it's not limited to just behind the range, but definitely a very cool feature to think about. This next point is super important for me. Um, it's something we teach at the Material Bar. All of our designers know it. And I think it's just, it's you get a lot more just use of your space if you can incorporate more drawers than base cabinets. When you have a base cabinet, you're opening the door and you're having to lean into the cabinet and see what's in there. And a lot of times you have to take a lot of things out just to get into the back because these are cabinets that we're talking about on the base that are 24 inches deep, okay? But if you have a drawer, you're basically pulling everything out towards you, okay? It is so much more function and I do admit, yes, adding drawers will add to your overall budget because there's just a lot more hardware parts and pieces when it comes to drawers but I highly, highly recommend doing drawers. I do get asked the question, well, should I go drawer or should I go roll out? And I think it really depends on what you're going to be storing in that cabinet. Remember, a drawer is a single movement to get to my goods inside of that drawer, but having a roll out means I have to open a door, sometimes two, and then move something out to roll it out. Also, the having the combination of doors and then an, an additional accessory on the inside, a roll out, it actually takes away a little bit of your space that you have in that, um, in that cabinet. So think about that too. I personally prefer drawers over rollouts, but in certain areas, rollouts are key like pantry uh, cabinets, or if you're trying to store like tabletop appliances, smaller appliances, I actually prefer using rollouts for those. Another accessory that I really like and I like to incorporate in um, all of my personal spaces but into other people's designs as well is having dividers and a lot of times in a kitchen and you know what and not, not always okay but you might end up with a section where it's like okay all I can fit here is one of them really skinny kind of base cabinets that's just how it ends up laying out and those are perfect if you're just adding one or two dividers that are fixed and you can use that cabinet let's say for cutting boards right so it's like a cutting board divider there's also another spot in the kitchen above the refrigerator that cabinet over the refrigerator is a 24 inch deep cabinet really nice and deep i love that cabinet when you add a couple of dividers just on one side of that cabinet okay so it gives you like maybe three slots and then long ways you can add your um what did we call those again, Courtney, in English? Sheet. Sheet, sheet, sheet cookie, pans. cookie pans, sheet cookie pans, sheet. okay? You can, um, backblech. <laughs> so, okay, so the sheet pans, you can stick them in there long ways, and this is just like, it's like Tetris. It's like perfection when it stores like that. I mean, it just gets me so excited. But then the other section, I don't know about you guys, but I have like these two really, really big soup pots and that's just perfect to sit up there, okay? So I do get um, excited about dividers <laughs> like that. Um, there is another version of a divider and it's more of a utensil pullout that also has a section for uh, cutting boards and uh, it has an integrated knife block. I, I think it depends on the design, but I typically don't like having the knife block out on the counter. I'm like super, I want everything to be just super empty. Um, so I love that accessory. We have a video of that. It's actually installed in our showroom. We'll add that too. But think about those little kind of nuances and what's out there, okay? There are so many accessories out there that you wouldn't even believe. And I think that we, um, we do pride ourselves with not being limited by what maybe this one manufacturer has, but being open-minded to like, well, what, what do these, these other people have? And then how do we need to, you know, calculate our cabinet or like the size, spec the size to be so it will fit this um, accessory for a site install. Okay, so cabinetry is like Lego. Okay, so it is only stopped by your imagination. Last but not least, just a really fun feature that you might have not thought about. There are automated kind of like touchless faucets, but there are also voice controlled faucets. And you might be thinking voice controlled. I mean, that's a little spacey, a little out there, right? But it really isn't. It's really neat. Think about your hands are dirty. Yes, you can like go in and not touch your faucet. But what if you're looking for an exact amount of eight ounces of water? That is pretty cool. 
Computer, tell Moen to tell Logi. I need to wash my hands. And we did a project with that and it was really nice. She was a little bit more of a baker, so she really put that voice activation and those controls to use and uh, it turned out amazing. So it was really fun to watch that and, uh, and all the features that come with that. So think about a voice controlled faucet. That was it for today, just to get your mind rolling and spinning a little bit while you're working on your next kitchen remodel. So think about these kitchen must-haves, these really cool features that you can integrate. And again, if you have any questions, you're actively working on your project, don't be shy, come join our free community. I hang out in there, Courtney hangs out in there, our designers hang out in there. You can post your questions 100% for free and we'll engage with you and give you feedback on that. You can even post images and pictures and that really, really helps. We have a couple of people commenting on YouTube and sometimes it gets a little tricky with understanding the layout just from description. So I highly recommend come joining us in that community. The link is below and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Um.